don't know if this is the right way. Let's go kill Wolf. Don't, I don't like it. So Dramora are probably my favourite enemies to play to this game. I just really like them as a race. They're just basically like an evil demon warrior race. You know, like the the, 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 the creatures and the beasts. They're just kind of mindless. But the Dramora, you know, they they kind of have some values. They kind of you know have a little bit of honor. Whereas the beasts are just mindless beasts. See whatever hap what's e whatever happened to him right now. That happened to me. I got stuck. That's weird. Doesn't look like you should get stuck. Wow! I got stuck. It's weird. This area, this wall is glitched. Up. There's Ellen, Elder now. Um, but he should come back. He should revive himself and come back. So let's backtrack a little bit. I need to figure out where I am. So I was there, I will got to this side. He's not supposed to stay dead. Oh, there's another copy of his key in there. Yeah, um, he's not supposed to stay dead. Odd. He's supposed to come back to life every time he dies. Um, I hope he hasn't glitched up. Oh! <laughs> 
You're a traitor to your... I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Cameron. I am not without power. I mean, obviously, we're going to take his help. He is a very useful meat shield because this guy just revives every time he's killed. And, spoiler alert, Mankar Cameron has a little bit of help when we actually have to fight him. He has his two children with him, Rumor and Raven, so, yep, we need the help. I am no match for Mankar Cameron, but perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. Lead on! Put my gauntlets back on. Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. You think I mock you? Not at all. In your comings, I hear the footsteps of fate. You are the last defender of decadent Tamriel. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn, Tamriel Reborn. I welcome you, if you truly are the agent. With this false I tire of the self-styled heroes who set themselves in my path only to prove unworthy of the event. Ah, oh, great. I see a spider dader up ahead. Just what I want. Serve potions because Mankar Cameron's going to be a difficult fight. <laughs> Luckily, we made short work of her. See a storm at her. Pathetic! Ah! 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 
monsters. Come on then. Come on then, Crocodile Dundee. See, Ella they all died. Elba Mill, whatever it's called. He'll be back. I have an invisibility spell. No, I don't. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there we go. Our cover's been blown. Oh, Elder Mill's back. Must be the end. Fed up with fighting all these monsters. I just want to kill my uncle camera. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, this should be the way to his palace. Um, it's even a cool statue to Marion's day on. I say cool, but you know. all right, so I'm gonna repair all my equipment. I think. Could be wrong, but I think something's something in my mind is telling me that Mankar Cameron actually heals you before he fights you. I think he says something about want, about wanting to fight you at your full power, so he heals you. I could be wrong. I could be thinking of a I could be thinking of a completely different game. Um, but yeah. There's this um, statue of Mirren's day on. Let's have a little look at it, shall we? A little, a little, um, little look-see. Just jump on a rock as you, as you do. What? Oh, I never knew that happened. I just wanted to look at the statue. Can you with me? Back to the start. Strange. I just want to admire the statue. Okay, that's mildly annoying. I guess we can't look at the statue. Sad times. Sad times, 2017. Okay, so let's go meet with Raven. And Guy Cameron's son. And his daughter, Rumor, as well. You did not expect to see me again, did you? You have no grasp of the power that my father has at his command. You think you can stop us? Soon Mehrun's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the Mythic Age, and our victory will be complete. Come, 
My father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalor. It's a lame name for a palace. You're lame too. So, here you are at last. The lackey of the Septim Pretender. You still think you have a chance, don't you? We knew you would find your way here eventually, but it is of no consequence. You should not keep my father waiting any longer. He expected you hours ago. Come, you came here to see him, did you not? Well, yeah, I kind of got bogged down with all your stupid monsters. Here we go. Take on the big bad man card, Cameron. Not David Cameron. Although he has got the forehead. I have waited a long time for you, champion of old Tamriel. You were the last gasp of a dying age. You breathed the stale air of false hope. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The walls between our worlds are crumbling. The mythic dawn grows nearer with every rift in the firmament. Soon, very soon, the lines now blurred will be erased. Tamriel and Oblivion rejoined, the mythic age reborn. Lord Dagon shall walk Tamriel again. The world shall be remade. The new age shall rise from the ashes of the old. Blah, blah. My vision shall be realized. Weakness will be purged from the world, and mortal and immortal alike purified in the refiner's fire. My long duel with the Septims is over, and I have the mastery. The Emperor is dead. The Amulet of Kings is mine. And the last defender of the last ragged Septim stands before me, in the heart of my power. Let us see who at last has proved the stronger. For Lord Hagar! Yeah, I should say, is very strong. His robes reflect damage and reflect spells. Although I'm kind of... Mopping, mopping the door. Oh, is already Die! Wow. There I was, bigging him up. So you reflect damage and spell absorption. I was bigging him up. Good enough. Down if you can. And then he goes and dies. Some storms. I want to see what Raven has. He has a special ring. Ooh, give me that. Thank you very much. Yeah, always loot Raven because he always has a leveled um, enchanted ring. Which is pretty cool, but there we go. I thought Mankar Cameron would sometimes in previous Let's Plays, previous Let's Plays, in, pl in pl English, in previous playthroughs, that fight can be very difficult because he likes to run around like a, and most mage enemies do. He likes to run around, heal himself. And as well as reflecting damage and whatnot, he can be a real pain. And he summons Storm Atronarchs as well. Not to mention his two kids help him out. Um, but yeah, I, I just got really lucky this time and kind of beat him down like the dog he is. So here we are. And the blades are all kind of being creepy. You found a way back. Does this mean... Man called Cameron is dead. You did it. You defeated him. Then you have it. You have the Amulet of Kings. Yeah, mate. Here, yeah, the amulet belongs to you. I was going to pawn it, but then I thought, nah, my boy Martin needs to wear it. It'll look good on you, mate. Belongs to me? The Amulet of Kings? So you and Joffrey have said, if it is true, if the Emperor really was my father, then I should be able to wear it. Only those of the Septim blood can wear the Amulet of Kings. Yeah, and Mankar Cameron can wear it, apparently. Um, so, yeah. Yes, of course. What am I waiting for? After all, this is my destiny. And no man can deny his destiny. 
There we go. Look at that. Lovely amulet. You see, you are Uriel's son. I didn't really need the amulet to tell me that. I've known it was true since you first told me him back in Kavach. But it is one thing to talk of becoming emperor, and quite another to actually be the emperor. You are the emperor. Not yet. Until we light the dragon fires, the gates are open, and Mehrun's Dagon's invasion continues. While you were gone, I sent a messenger to Chancellor Akato. He waits for us in the Imperial City. Chancellor Akato is the head of the Elder Council. The Council rules in the Emperor's absence. I don't expect any objections from the Elder Council, but we should defer to their authority. Let's go to the Imperial City at once, before the enemy can recover from Manka Cameron's death. Right, so... Congratulations like, on your victory, sir. It looks like we are going to return to the Imperial City to crown Martin as the Emperor. Now, normally, um, Joffrey would come along as well. But unfortunately, Joffrey died in the Battle of Bruma, so it's just me and Martin. Boris would normally come as well. Um, which is a shame, they're both dead. Uh, rest in peace. But I'll do that in the next part, my old mucker. In this part, we destroyed Manka Cameron and took the Amulet of Kings back, so bully for us. If you enjoyed this part, please give the video a like, subscribe to Campus UK, where you can keep up to date with this Let's Play. And as always, take care, and goodbye.